welcome to my youtube channel logic medical today's topic for presentation is stepidial reflex so what is a stepidial reflex we will see what are the other names for that synonyms definition components of any reflex what is acoustic reflex threshold what is sound pressure level importance and tonic tensor tympani syndrome these are the topics under which we are going to do it going to the synonyms of stepidial reflex it is also called stapedius reflex because it is mediated by a muscle called stapedius. That is a middle ear muscle, therefore the name middle ear muscle reflex. It is involved in control of the audition, so it is called as auditory reflex. In which this reflex is concerned with diminishing the sound wave reaching the inner ear. So the diminishing or reduction will be called as attenuation, so it is called attenuation reflex. So it is involved in the junction between the stapes and cochlea. That is where the stapedius is attached, so it's also called cochleostapedial reflex. It minimizes the inflammation reaching the cochlea. It's inside the ear, so it's also called intraoral reflex. So the stapedial reflex, by definition, it means involuntary muscle contraction that occurs in the middle ear in response to any high intensity sound or stimuli, or whenever the person starts speaking. Components of any reflex: a receptor, afferent nerve, center, efferent nerve, and the effector organ. Receptor gains the information. We will see that in the explanation. For example, skin is a receptor, touch receptor, pressure receptor, pain receptor, temperature receptor. So, this information is carried to the spinal cord by a nerve. It is called afferent nerve. Spinal cord is a decision making center, it is a part of CNS. So, this is called the center where the synapse is there. Then, a motor neuron beginning from there coming out is called as efferent neuron. So, afferent, uh, A or towards E, efferent means away, away from the CNS. Muscle responds by contraction. So, muscle is an effect of organ. So, coming to the stepidial reflex, the stimulus for the stepidial reflex is high intensity sound stimuli. The respond is contraction of these two muscles, the stepidious muscle and the tensor tympani muscle, both the muscle contracts. So, this is the stimulus, this is the response. So, stepidial reflex, what is the stimulus? High intensity sound stimuli. Receptor for the stapedial reflex is make a the hair cells of the organ of cortic. The receptor for hearing, the same one is the receptor for stapedial reflex. The afferent nerve, what is the nerve of hearing? Eighth penal nerve or the vestibular cochlear nerve. That is the afferent nerve, which carries information towards CNS. So, what is the center for stapedial reflex? It is the pons, the superior auricular nucleus of the pons. Pons is the part of the brain stem. Also, motor nucleus of 7th cranial nerve is also situated at pons. Both of these acts as a center for stapedial reflex. Efferent nerve, information from the brain stem that is from pons comes out by this nerve, 7th cranial nerve or the facial nerve. Effect organ, stapedial reflex. Come on. Stapedius, if you are told, it's correct answer. Stapedius is a effector organ. Effector organ responds by contraction. When it contracts, it pulls out the Stapes out of the oral window and thereby stabilizing the ossicular chain, preventing the further movement. Also, the mandibular division of trigeminal nerve controls one more muscle, tensor tympani, is also a component of this reflex. It folds onto the malleus. Response contraction of these two muscles, mainly the stapedius, also the tensor tympani. So, this is a simplified version of stapedial reflex. The receptor is organ of corti hair cells, apparent, eight cranial nerve. The center is pons, wherein two nucleus are the superior olivary nucleus and the motor nucleus of facial nerve. Ultimately, information is going to come out by facial nerve fiber when it supplies stapedius muscle. It's called nerve to stapedius. It stabilizes the stapes, preventing the movement of the stapes like a piston in and out of the cochlea. That is a simplified version of stapedial reflex. In the form of flow chart, if you want to present in UNSC exams, air cells of the organ of cortis is the receptor. It reaches the cochlear nucleus, superior olivar nucleus via this nerve, eighth penal nerve. Then from there, it goes information goes in two directions: trigeminal motor nucleus and facial motor nucleus. Trigeminal motor nucleus via trigeminal nerve supplies tensor tympani, while the facial motor nucleus via the facial nerve supplies stapedius. Both of these muscles contract. Tensor tympani holds the malleus. Stapedius holds the stapes. That's all. So stapedial reflex. In simplified version, if you want to write in a tabular fashion, 
stimuli is high intensity sound is a stimuli receptor will be organ of body upper end neuron is eighth canal nerve center is superior olivary nucleus of the pons mainly also motor nucleus of facial nerve efferent nerve is the facial nerve responsible organ or the effector organ is stapedius muscle so how is this reflex possible by stapedius muscle because it stiffens the stapes mainly it ultimately stiffens the entire ossicular chain thereby pulling away the stapes away from the oval window tensor tympan how does it act it stiffens the ossicular chain again by pulling the malleus this pulls the stapes this pulls the malleus and pulls the malleus inwards so the tympanic membrane will become tense therefore the name tense tympani why the stapedial reflex is present in the human body whenever excess amount of sound energy is delivered the inner ear can get damaged if at all there is no such reflex therefore pre by for preventing such extra energy from being delivered such kind of muscle should contract and prevent the sound energy from reaching the inner ear or getting converted to electrical energy therefore stapedial reflex is a protective reflex which is there in our body protecting our inner ear which is an organ of hearing and equilibrium okay. so what is this art acoustic reflex threshold it is a sound pressure level at which the acoustic reflex will get activated that is the minimum level of sound which is required to stimulate this acoustic reflex is called acoustic reflex threshold so it is a function of sound pressure level as well as the frequency of sound both of them are dependent on acoustic reflex threshold so acoustic reflex threshold can be reduced by simultaneously presenting an additional sound to the patient you can minimize the acoustic reflex threshold so when is this applicable in normal individual the acoustic reflex threshold is 70 to 100 decibels for sound pressure level while in a patient with conductive hearing loss the threshold is reduced 10 to 20 decibels it has been reduced than the discomfort threshold so this discomfort threshold is different from acoustic reflex threshold whereas a industrial worker will have a increased discomfort threshold so but their acoustic reflex threshold would have been minimized testing of this acoustic reflex or the stapedial reflex is done by various methods one of the method is called as tympanometry the other method is extra tympanic manometry the application of this uh, stapedial reflex can be done in various situations like to locate the facial nerve injury if at all the facial nerve injury is distal to the branch nerve to stapedius then the acoustic reflex will be intact if it is proximal to that even the in addition to facial palsy they have the stapedial reflex being absent then also in retrocochlear lesion like acoustic neuroma it is important to localize the extent of the tumor by stapedial reflex then the importance of this stapedial reflex is in one condition called as tonic tensor tympani syndrome in this patient usually acoustic reflex gets activated at a higher frequency and higher decibel but in this patient even with normal conversation the person feels that their discomfort level is really high because there will be sudden spasm of this muscle tensor tympani muscle it's anxiety based condition so psychotherapy is required for such patient it is an involuntary anxiety based condition tonic tensor tympani syndrome where there will be frequent spasm of tensor tympani muscle then coming to the summary the stimulus for this stapedial reflex or acoustic reflex is high intensity so the receptor is organ of hearing that is air cells of the organ of cochlea the afferent nerve will be eighth cranial nerve or the vestibulo cochlear or auditory nerve the center for this stapedial reflex will be the pons superior olivary nucleus of the pons or the motor nucleus of facial nerve what is also called pons pons is a part of the brain stem okay then efferent nerve is the facial nerve or the seventh cranial nerve will act like a efferent nerve the effector organ would be the stapedius muscle contraction of stapedius muscle pulls the foot plate of stapes outside the oval window stabilizes that in place prevents the tsunami in the inner ear or the cochlear fluid thereby protecting the inner ear that is the main function of stapedial reflex kindly like and share this video with your family and friends and subscribe to my channel and press the bell button thank you once again